Uh, is there a number you'd like to start with? So we have planets, astronauts, draw it, movies are true and false. Is there a certain category we'd like to start with? Uh, how about uh, astronauts for 500? Perfect. Our question is, the word astronaut literally translate to what in Latin? What do you think? That's pretty difficult. This is why this is a $500 one. Um, I'm not sure if people are raising their hands, but Justin, do you have the ability to unmute? Uh, yes, so Kayla had her hand up first. Do you know the answer, Kayla? No, okay. Uh, Jonathan, do you know the answer? I'll unmute you. There you go. Just press unmute. Uh, it's called astronauts. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I think mean, I mean there's uh, astronaut uh, Okay. Anybody else have any guesses? No, this was a hard one. This is a hard 500 point question. So we're going to reveal the correct answer. The great thing is we're learning something. So star sailor is what it translates to. Star sailor. All right, we are going to go back to um, the next one. Okay, who would like to pick the next one? Okay, I think I'll take draw it for 200. Perfect. So you, I guess uh, we should have a piece of paper. If you have a piece of paper near you, that would be great. Um, if you don't, you can kind of like trace it in the air, but we're gonna have a UFO, a UFO. If you have something you can draw on, or if you wanna grab something, go ahead. And then we'll, we can all hold those up to the screen. Let everyone get through this drawing here. Um, if anyone wants to show their drawing or was able to do their drawing. Oh, I see somebody, Jeremy, I see one, perfect. Anybody else do a drawing? Angie, I see you have one. Could you hold it up a little bit higher? Fantastic. Anybody else do one? Oh, I see Luke has one, amazing. Aisha, awesome. Anybody else working on one? Okay, great. I don't know if I'm gonna put one in here, but let's see. No, we did not have a drawing attached to ours. So great job, a UFO looks great. All right, would somebody else like to pick? One movies, uh, 400. Oh, movies, 400, great choice. Okay, it says the spacecraft that carried the first astronauts to the moon is called Apollo. Oh, I think I hit not true or false, I'm so sorry. Angie, I will do movies 400 next one. Um, this one, we're going to do a true and false. So true or false, the spacecraft that carried the first astronauts to the moon is called Apollo 96. Anybody want to take a guess? And then Angie, I will go to movies next. I apologize. Um, I see Dylan's hand up. There's quite a few hands up. I saw Luke put his up. Luke, do you have the answer? False. False. Does um, if you also think false, do you want to raise your hand? Perfect. Anybody think true? Okay, let's find out. False. Great job, Luke. Great job. Okay, before somebody else picks, I am going to go to movies for 400 like Angie asked. I'm sorry about that. Okay, 
The film franchise has nine plus movies and has a character named Yoda. Star Wars. I think Carl has the answer. It's Star Wars. It's Star Wars. Star Wars. What do we think? Are we in agreement with that? Give me a thumbs up if you are. We also have Star Trek in the chat as well. Right. Also a great response. All right. Let's find out. I was right. Star <laughs> Wars. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, we can now, if somebody else would like to pick a category. Uh, I guess I, I, I raised my hand. Yeah, Kyle was next. Okay, great, Kyle. So do you want to go ahead and pick a category? And then Dylan, um, I see your hand as well, so we will do you next, okay? Uh, Kyle, go ahead and pick a category and a number. Okay, I guess I go for All About the Planets. Okay. For um, 400. 400. Okay, great. Planets for 400. Okay. The amount of planets that can be seen without a telescope. So how many planets can we see without a telescope? Oh, okay. Um, so we're just gonna... Kayla has her hand up. Sure. Uh, uh, not two. Um, wait. All right, Kayla, if you want to go ahead and unmute. I think it's four. Four? Anybody have a different guess? Great guess, Kayla. Thank you. Does anybody have a different guess? Robert, I see your hand up as well. You can also put guesses in the chat. You have two and three in the chat so far. Two, three, and four. Robert, do you have a different guess? I say five five okay great guess robert should we reveal it try and see yes okay five robert congratulations mercury venus mars jupiter and saturn great job okay dylan i've seen your hand up quite a bit so um we'll go ahead and you can pick next dylan uh, okay, okay, you know what, you know what, since we all did a true or false, uh, since we haven't done a true or false, let's do one for 300. Sure, true or false for 300. NASA stands for National Astronomical and Space Association. What do we think? Is that true or is that false? I'm going to say true for that. Okay, your answer is true. Anybody think it's false? Uh, I, actually, I, actually, what is true? True means yes, that is what it stands for. We have a couple false in the chat. Couple false in Should the chat. Okay. Should, should we reveal it? See? Oh, I figure it out. False. I wonder what it actually stands for. I have no idea. All right. Great job. Uh, would someone like to pick a number? Maria had her hand up. Sure, Maria. True and false for 500. True and false for 500. Big numbers. There are eight planets in the solar system. True or false? You can also put your answers in the chat. We have what true we in the chat so far. True in the chat. Okay, oh, great. We have a false. Oh. False. How about go ahead and raise your hand if you think it's true. Raise your hand. All right, give me a thumbs down if you think it's false. All right, let's see. It is true. Great job. All right, would someone like to, uh, our next one? Pick our next one. We have Robert's hand up and Melanie Wong's hand up. Okay, so let's go. Um, Melanie, I don't think you've gone yet. And then we'll go to Robert next, okay? Okay, um, I would like to do um, Astronaut 100. Astronaut 100. 
Thank you. Who was the first person to walk on the moon? Does anybody know the name of the first person to walk on the moon? In the chat, we have Neil Armstrong. All right, if you are in agreement with that, how about you give me a thumbs up? All right, let's check. Neil Armstrong, great work team. Very impressive. All right, uh, Robert, I believe was next, correct? All right, Robert, which one would you like to do, Robert? Uh, planet for 200. Planets for 200? Yes. Sure. Um, there have been more missions to this planet than any other. So that means they've sent more um, like astronauts or spaceships to this planet than any other planet. Any guesses for anyone? I see Jonathan's hand. Say uh, Mars. Mars? Yeah. Anybody agree or disagree with that? We have lots of Mars in the chat. Jeremy has a check mark beside his name. This is good. Good, good, good. All right, let's check. I also believe it's Mars, but I'm I'm not sure. Luke's giving me a thumbs down, so we'll see. Mars, great job. Thumbs up. Thank you. All right, would someone like to pick the next one? Michael has his hand up. Sure, Michael. Go ahead, Mike. I'm gonna go with movies. Up. Oh. Movies for what number? Uh, 100. 100, thanks, Mike. So this movie stars Looney Tunes characters and basketball star Michael Jordan. Any ideas? Uh, Big Jam. Uh, so we have Space Jam. Do we agree or disagree? Agree? I'm getting a lot of thumbs up. One of the best movies. You are correct. Space Jam. There's also a second one with um, LeBron James. Don't know if anyone's seen that one, but uh, it's oh. another one as well. All right. Who would like to pick next? We like to draw it, please. Draw it for how much, Aisha? One hundred. One hundred. So we're gonna draw this one. Ready? A star. It's a hard drawing. I'd love to see everyone do this one. Do they know you that you're there? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna be in. So go ahead and draw a star. Therese, that looks great. Luke, fantastic. Lindsay, amazing. Marie, great. Melanie, Jeremy, these are fantastic. Great job, everyone. Oh, I saw somebody else, sorry, I moved to Angie, fantastic. These look wonderful. All right, um, the next one we have is Stella. You get to go ahead and guess. Uh, take uh, outer space and movies for 200. Movies for 200, great one. Yeah. This movie stars Matthew McConaughey. Oh boy, this is a broad clue. <laughs> Any thoughts? I think I might know, but I don't, I'm not too sure. Anybody a big Matthew McConaughey fan? Me either, really. No. Oh. <laughs> All right, go ahead and any guesses out there? Does our staff have any guesses? I think Jason uh, in the chat, he said interstellar. 
Oh, Jason, that's what I think too. Let's check. Jason, great work. Interstellar. Great job. All right, who's next? Um, out of the out of space movies for 500, please. Movies for 500. Great choice. This movie, oh my goodness, this movie stars Sandra Bullock and George Clooney in this outer space nightmare. Jason, I think you're our movie guy, so. Rely on him for an answer. <laughs> I'm not sure. Not sure. That's okay. Any other, any guesses? I think I might have a hint. But I don't know if it's the right movie. So, <laughs> Any ideas? Any answers in the chat team? Should we look at the answer? Uh, there's an answer in the chat for there's gravity and galaxy. All right, let's look. And twin. Gravity. Fantastic. Whoever wrote that. Good job, Dylan. Um, all right, I know there were some uh, hands up to so go look next. At, look at gravity as well. Look, 200. 200 for which one? Astronaut. Astronauts, for sure. Yeah. The first Canadian astronaut to travel to space. Who was it? I don't know what she <laughs> Me either, Amy. Uh, Jonathan, I see your hand up. I would say uh, Tom Hanks. Okay. <laughs> Any other guesses? It's a hard one. It's a hard $200 question. Oh, Melanie, did you know? Dylan in the chat has Chris A. Field. I was going to say Chris Hatfield or whoever just said Chris, whatever the name, the last one. Is Perfect. All right. Let's see. Mark Garneau. Oh, Luke had it. Luke had it. Luke had it. Fantastic, Luke. Thank you. Wow. All right. Next one. Who would like to guess? Okay. All about planets for 500. Planets for 500. The number of Earth that could fit inside the sun. So if we took Earth, how many times could we put it inside the sun? Becky's saying two. People think more or less than two. Ten. ten. Any other guesses? I see three, 25, five. All right, I'm going to look at our answer here. One million. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a lot of Earth. <laughs> okay. Um, who would like to pick next? Uh, let's go with, uh, true or false for 200. 200, great. Astronomy is the study of stars, planets, and galaxies. Is that true or false? So when someone studies stars, planets, and galaxies, do we call it astronomy? True or true. false? If we're in agreement with true, give me a thumbs up. If we think it's false, give me a thumbs down. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, let's look. That is true. Yes. Great, Great job, Kayla, thank you. All right, our next one. Planet 300. Planets 300, cool. Yeah. The brightest planet in the night sky. Any idea? What planet is the absolute brightest? Thoughts? We have lots of different answers in the chat. Okay. We have the sun, the moon, the star, Venus. All right, let's take a look. 
Venus is correct. Who said that one? Jonathan. Thanks, Jonathan. Great job. Uh, would someone like to guess next? I'm going for astronaut for 400. Astronaut for 400. The first woman to travel into space. Any ideas? Any thoughts, anyone? Luke says Roberta Bondar. Mm. All right, we're gonna check it out. Whoa. Valentina Terkova. Terkova? I'm saying that right. All right. Andrea hitting us with the difficult questions. Um, who would like to go next? Um, I'm gonna say true or false for a hundred. Sure. We all live on planet Earth. <laughs> yes, true. True. True, true, true. True. Okay. Good job. Uh, Therese, I see your hand up. Draw it for 500. Draw it for 500. All right, we're going to draw here. A black hole. That one's difficult. You got to draw a black hole. <laughs> Once you have your drawing, go ahead and hold it up. I got it. All right, go ahead and hold it to the screen. Let's see these. This one here. Fantastic, Kyle. Great. Looking good, everyone. These are awesome. Fantastic, fantastic. Luke, great. Great, great, great. All right. Oh, for whatever reason, it didn't. There we go. That's why. Okay, we have four left, or five left, sorry. Who would like to go next? Movie 300. Movies 300. The Pixar movie tells the story of the last robot on Earth. Wally. Wally, are we in agreement with that? If we think yes, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let's see. Correct. Wally, great job. All right. Wally, Wally. To pick next. Luke, I saw your hand up. Did you want to pick? Planets. Planet. The smallest planet in our solar system. Any ideas? Jonathan, I see your hand up. A few different answers in the chat. Jonathan, I, would say, you... uh, I would say Pluto. Pluto? We have Pluto okay. in the chat. We have Mercury. All right, let's see. Mercury is correct. Great job. I believe it probably was Pluto. Unfortunately, Pluto is no longer considered a planet. So it lost its title as smallest planet. All right, we have three left. Would someone like to pick? Okay, uh, I guess I'd go for astronauts for 300. Astronauts for 300. The lang this language is a requirement for NASA for all astronauts to learn. So what language do all the employees at NASA need to learn? English. English. Pascal. Pascal, he said. Anybody? All right, let's, any answers? Any ideas? We have French and English in the chat. All right, let's find out. In sign language. Russian. I did not know that. All right, I'm gonna open up our last two, our draws. So Saturn is the first one. And I'm gonna see what the other one is and then you can choose which one you would like to draw. 
And the other one is a rocket. So you can draw either a rocket or Saturn. And I would love to see those drawings before we finish up here. Fantastic, Jonathan. Saturn looks great. Angie, Jeremy, fantastic.